All right, I am pumped back up, refreshed, and ready to go, baby gamers and gamers. What is going on? My name is Tanek127, and welcome back to another Skyforge video. And in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys my end game guide. Now, this is sort of, you know, a beginner tutorial of end game. I want to make two end game guides, so this is going to be part one of this series. Just basic end game. You just hit end game. You just finished your provinces. What do you do? Well, simple, I'm going to go through here and actually, you know, walk you guys through this step by step. I have it all completed, obviously, so, you know, I can't show you exactly everything. But the first thing you're going to be sent to do, and this is, um, spoiler warning, okay? Everything from this point out, um, you're basically going to be told what to do. There's really only two people you need to, uh, you need to talk to for Endgame. Harita and Flavius. That's, that's basically it. Harita's going to send you on a really, really cool mission. I'm not going to talk too much about that mission. Um, as you guys know, Harita's the goddess advisor. She usually stands right here. If she loads, okay, there she goes. Um, you talk to her. She's going to send you on a really cool mission to unlock your god form. And this is after you finish the final the final province. Um, the final province is going to be in Philomius, And I believe it's called Aristel's Farm. Yes. Okay, Aristel's Farm. Once you finish that... You'll have a quest that sends you right to Harita. You do you do this quest. She's going to um, teach you how to you know customize your god form and all that stuff. And then you're going to go on this solo mission. Now keep in mind this mission is solo. It's really cool. Got some dope cutscenes to it. You guys are going to have a lot of fun with that. It's going to teach you a bit more about the story and everything else. Now after you finish that, you're going to be sent straight to the Alienar Research Center, where I just previously previously was and you're going to talk to Flavius now a lot of you guys are probably wondering you know like um how do you unlock raids distortions you know dungeons how do you get all the generation all uh, the first generation gear and stuff like that I'm going to school you guys on all that stuff so do not worry now keep in mind on Xbox one we are currently on generation one which means you need 12,000 500 might in order to for that gear to drop and to participate in dungeons or raids that drop that gear So if you're not at 12,500 might do not start farming for gear yet <clears throat> But Flavius as you guys know he's right here He'll have quests for you, you know just to teach you different end game tasks and all that and all that fun stuff But um, what he's going to do is basically he's going to give you an equipment tutorial that tutorial is going to help you unlock raids. He's going to give you another tutorial for unlocking directives. And what directives are are basically daily quests that you get. Um, they're going to give you things such as sparks, um, military technologies, and stuff like that. Now, these military technologies, right, don't let people fool you. People are going to tell you guys a lot in this game that um, if you're behind and you're just starting it after a certain invasion, you can't catch up. It's hopeless. You might as well not even play the game. No. They're wrong. Don't listen to them. This is what directives are for. Anytime you're behind in an invasion, your directives will give you scientific development projects or military technologies. These just give you a superior boost in might to help you catch up to the current generation. But it's also partially your responsibility to make sure you do the number one thing that I told you guys in your beginner's guide. And yes, that's right. We're going right back to it, baby. The good old bastions when you hit end game if these aren't complete as you guys can see i'm a naughty naughty boy because mine aren't fully complete either these should be your top priority bastions and getting your might up as high as you can get it should be your top priority before anything once you hit that 12,500 might range okay you're at 12k might cool big deal keep going get as strong as you can get as powerful as you can just because you're, ma you're meeting the minimum requirements to run endgame content does not mean that content is going to be, <coughs> excuse me, easy. A lot of these raids, dungeons and stuff like that, especially um, distortions and Operation Ophelia, they are mechanic heavy, brutal, and unforgiving. You're going to need as much power, DPS, HP, and everything as possible to do these, you know, easily without giving yourself a headache so trust me guys get your might up as high as you can but um basically once you hit endgame once you're at um once you're at you know that good old 12,500 might or whatever you want to come over here to the equipment section now you'll have this section unlocked once Flavius 
once you finish Flavius' equipment tutorial. In here, you're going to see, you know, distortions. Obviously, you know, this is the PS4 version, so, you know, you're not going to have all four just yet if you're on Xbox. You're only going to see one distortion here, which is Lore of the Cold. But you're going to be shown the dungeons that unlock different gear pieces for you. You're going to be shown the raids that give you different gear pieces and all that stuff. Now, guys, keep in mind, every dungeon and every raid has a normal mode and a hard mode. Like, for example, you guys see the skull here at the top, how it's white? That's normal mode. If you put it on the red skull, that's hard mode. The hard mode one is what you always want to be able to run. So make sure your prestige is up to par also. This is the point in the game where you know prestige is going to start to matter too because you're going to have to meet certain prestige requirements to run certain contact. Remember, might is going to help raise your prestige, gear is going to help raise your prestige, but the most important thing you want to get up is your might because your might is always going to raise is going always going to power up your character and increase your prestige your might is going to be the best of both worlds yes getting more gear and better gear is going to help increase your prestige but so is might now another question you guys may have may ask is um how do you level up your gear how does um how does leveling up your gear work well as you guys know you have four different tiers of gear you have green common blue rare purple legendary yellow mythic yellow or gold you know whichever color you consider it. it's really simple in order to level up your gear you're going to go over to your bag scroll over to item upgrades here you'll have the option to upgrade them it's going to tell you what materials you need how much credits or knowledge of enemies it costs sometimes they cost credits sometimes they cost knowledge of enemies how you get these items is simply by running end game content and breaking down high generation pieces of gear that you don't need so basically, it's just a non-stop gear farm. Just go in dungeons, go in raids, those gear pieces that you farm that you know that aren't stronger and stuff like that. You can farm to get to try and get mythical pieces of, you know, the highest um, multipliers that you need. Or you can upgrade um, legendary pieces into mythical. However you, prefer, however you prefer to do it. I personally would say upgrade. That way, you know, you can be more specific about stats and fine-tune the gear just how you like it to, you know, a build that you want for your character. But that's completely up to you guys, however you decide to do it. So anyway, guys, that's going to be my basic endgame guide. There's going to be a part two coming to this soon. I really hope it helped you guys out. If it did, be sure to smash that like button for me. And I want to thank you all so much for watching. It's your boy, Tanek127. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Till next time, peace out, take care.